Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I do my everyday glam. Loving this type of look just literally for everyday or even for a night out and I'll just pop on a lash. But I'm in my no mascara era right now. I've been loving this. So if you guys want to see how I do this routine, keep on watching. I'm going to put my hair up really quick. I actually don't think I did my headband today. I think this is a little moment. If I'm sneezing throughout the whole thing, it's allergy season and... She has me good right now. So I sound a little stuffy. <laughs> Just realizing that I had changed my hoop into a gold one and I didn't change it back. And I'm wearing silver jewelry today. I'm gonna start off priming my skin with the Halo Glow liquid filter. I used the shade Light 3 and I used it yesterday for the first time in a good minute and I liked it. So I'm just adding like a decent amount. Usually I use my Milk Hydro Grip, but I wanted a little bit more glow today. I'm gonna blend this out with the Elf Complexion Dual Brush. And I'm just gonna mix it all over as if it was like a foundation type of thing. And this looks so good. I especially love this product when I go to the beach because my skin just looks super glowy. I don't think I would wear this alone like on an everyday basis type of thing because it is very very glowy Ooh, i might have to add the headband because these baby hairs are getting a little crazy yeah let's add this baby on honestly i hate these headbands because they low-key give me a headache i prefer the other ones with like the little strap but i'm pretty sure i lost mine because i haven't seen that girl in a couple months <laughs> Okay, for foundation, I'm gonna use my Holy Grail, my Makeup by Mario foundation. I use the shade at 12 0. Probably every drag girl's favorite foundation right now. But look how good this matches. So, my face, I don't know if you guys noticed before, my face is a little tan, but like blotchy. I went snowboarding a couple weeks ago and I didn't put enough sunscreen. So, with the goggles on, only the perimeter of my face got tan. So, it's a little weird right now, but once I do my whole face, it comes together. Just a lot of foundations aren't matching anymore because of that. And I am using the same brush, by the way. She looks hakey. This right here reminds me of the peanut butter baby. If you know, you know. With the damp, clean sponge, I'm just going to go over it to pick up any excess foundation, any product, just so you don't feel cakey. If I could only have one concealer for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Too Faced Multi-Use Concealer in the shade Swan. The best. Right now it's just hitting different because my face does feel a little more tan and I love a bright under eye. There's just way more contrast going on right now and I'm living for it. Before I go ahead and blend this, I like to add setting spray. Morphe. Get this one. And again, I'm just going to use my sponge. Sometimes I, sometimes I use a sponge, sometimes I use a foundation brush, but my foundation brush has Hello product on it. So I'm just going to use this sponge. Like that contrast, girl. I love it. Ugh. Stupid allergies. Now I should look a little bit like this. You are going to look washed out right now. I'm not going to lie. But cream contour is going to save your life right now. Another fave of mine right now. This natural pad by Beauty Creations. Girl, I got this maybe like a month ago. Why have I already hit pan on one of the shades? She's creamy. She's buttery. Just hella, hella good. So for the nose, I kind of go in with these two shades. I'm going to take this shade and this shade for the perimeter of my face. So I like adding it to a higher point of my cheek just to lift up the face. Because your girl has a really round face. Just a tiny bit on the sides of the forehead. To blend it out, number 70 by Real Techniques. This girl, this brush. This brush for cream contouring, hella good. And you see how creamy it is? It just literally melts into your skin. You can't really go wrong with this product. Like, it's really hard to mess it up. If you're new to cream contour, this palette might be good for you. And it's only, I believe, $14. Now let's blend out the nose. The nose contour is so crucial. If you mess it up, I'm not going to like my makeup anymore. Like, this part has to come out clean. Because it's the center of your face. So, changes everything. Nose and eyebrows. Very important. <laughs> Just gonna add a tiny bit of concealer just right on top and just smudge it a little bit like this. I'm gonna leave this product on for a couple of minutes while I do my cream blush and I powder my under eyes. I'm kind of feeling pinky tones today. I have a hot pink shirt, so I'm just gonna go with that type of, I'm gonna go with that vibe, pink tones today. Therefore, for cream blush, I'm gonna do Raspberry by Makeup by Mario. And before applying it, I will just blend it out a little bit on the back of my hand so it goes on evenly on the cheek. 
This brush is 241 by Real Techniques. One of my favorite brushes for cream blush. And you can even use this for cream contouring as well. You want to apply this just a little bit above your contour. And just mush it in together. This just flows so good. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of concealer again to my under eye. Just to mush in the concealer and the blush nice and evenly. And one thing about me, once I'm blending out the concealer on the under eye for the second time, I make sure to have my pressed powder ready. That way I give my eye no time to crease. So let me show you what I mean. So blend to your desired liking. And then you take a powder puff. Do not apply it like this. Because I kid you not, your under eye is going to be so dry. Flatten out the product. Make sure it looks nice and even, and then you can go in with it. And I kind of start off to the side and then work my way up to that little corner. Just really press it in there. You don't want to bake yet. You first want to set it, and then if you want to bake, you want to do that on the second layer, not the first. Taking a big fluffy brush like this, this is A14 by Makeup by Ariel. Just make sure that everything's nice and set in there. Under eyes are set. Now this is what I mean. If you like to bake, I'm dry and fancy powder is really mattifying. So I can technically bake, but I have to do it super duper light handed. Because if not, my under eyes are going to look like dry lake bed. So I kind of just do it in this little area just to brighten up the area a tiny bit. And I'll keep it on for a couple of minutes. And then I'll just use a loose powder for the rest of my T-zone. So that is like your upper lip, your chin, and then your forehead. This is my favorite powder. The Fora Collection My Christmas Powder just never does me wrong. I've been using this for a couple of years now and the same shade, shade 25. It just works hella good, especially if you have dry skin. This powder is going to be for you because it doesn't make you feel like very dried out or flaky. It doesn't feel heavy. Ugh, I'm telling you, my allergies are so bad. <laughs> now it's time to just blend this out. Taking the powder that's on the sides, I'm going to dust this part off but kind of going to use that same powder for the nose. Doing it two in one. Perfect. And it doesn't look too dry. But my face needs a little bit of moisture in there, so I'm just going to put setting spray again. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to breathe before. <coughs> that sounds so gross. Okay, let's bronze up this face. What about the contour palette in Dulce de Leche? If you don't have this already, Go get it. I use F10 by Sigma. I'm just going to place this on the highest point of my cheeks and kind of like at this angle, whatever is left, I will bring it up to the forehead. Isn't it crazy what a little bit of bronzer does to the face? And I kind of just like press it in. I'm like sweeping it. I'm not going back and forth. When you go back and forth, you are creating a lot of friction onto the face and that's when your separation starts happening. I'm going to use this small like eyeshadow brush. This is from the Jessup brushes from amazon aka makeup ariel dupes i do have them linked in my storefront if you like them i think they're really good quality brushes la única cosa is that they are missing two of my favorite brushes in the collection which would be the one that i use for my under eyes and their as well as the blush brush so that's the part that i didn't like about it however quality is there and you guys know this already but pinching your brush pinch it a little bit and then you're going to make that little line to give your butt and nose effect. Imagine if I had a nose like this, girl. I would be so happy. Taking the brightening side of the palette and just placing this on the bridge. I'm going to leave it on for a couple minutes as well and then we'll come back to it. Take a little bit of this and just place this right underneath the eye and just press it in as well. I'm going to take it to the forehead and to my chin. Take a shot every time I have to clean my nose. <laughs> Dude, never mind, it's bleeding. <laughs> I would say let's try to fix this a little bit more, but odds are I'm going to have to blow my nose again. I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer using MAC Give Me Sun. This is another one of my favorite bronzers. I don't even know how to explain this one. It just gives a little oomph to the makeup. I don't know. I'm going to add a little bit to the neck. MAC blushes just have my heart lately. I'm going to start off with Flower Power by MAC. And I'm using my Morphe V106 to blend this out. This is part of their vegan collection. And this is just like a soft, like, mauve pink. I'm going to use this one as my base. And then I'm going to use shimmer ones on top. I mess with my nose. And now the shimmer ones. Lovejoy by MAC with my A22 brush by Makeup by Ariel. This is going to give a super nice glow to the cheeks. And I know it looks very extreme right now, but I don't care. <laughs> I promise once you do the eyes, you do the brows, the lips, 
it looks perfect. And then finally, another blush. This one is just pure shimmer. Like, it's a good topper blush. This one is in Fairly Precious. This one I am focusing a little bit higher. Almost like a highlighter situation. Obsessed. So good. If you feel like set this subió mucho el color, all you gotta do is take some loose powder and you're just gonna diffuse it towards the blush. The nose already looks pretty good right now, but adding highlighter is just gonna make it a little bit more snatched. Adding Soft and Gentle by MAC. And then this brush is from one of Crystal Cosmetics brush sets. I haven't been able to find it online, but they have so many good ones. So eyes lately, I've just been doing literally two colors on the eyes just to give like a little something on there right now i'm adding the mac paint pot in soft ochre obviously this is a pot i'm gonna use do i ever use anything different no which i probably should but i usually always use the same two colors you could probably already tell but this as my transition color and i'm just gonna take it with the big fluffy brush this doesn't have to be perfect because i'm just trying to add some color on there bringing this into like the nose contour situation and i just blow it out i think this is one of the only palettes that i would ever repurchase again i'm not really someone who likes repurchasing palettes i don't think i ever have actually but this one specifically i would for sure no doubt then to deepen it up i'm just gonna add this one another color that i use all the time i've hit pan Literally the only two colors I'll be using. And I just smoke this out. For this next part, I'm going to mix both of these colors. And I'm just going to add this into the inner corner. Just to kind of open up the eye. Make it a little bit more awake. I'm adding Chocolate by Undone Beauty. Ooh, my eyes watered a little bit. I'm going to curl the lashes. When I curl them, I do lift up the eye a little bit. So I can really get to the base of it. I just pinch it and then move it up. Lately, I've been mixing two mascaras. So I start off with Rem Beauty Mascara and I do a light coat of this. This one's going to separate my lashes and I'm going to make them a little bit longer. If you have long lashes like me, you kind of want to squint your eye a little bit just so you don't get any product on the lid. Okay, and once you get your desired length, I'm going to go ahead and take Max Stack by MAC now. And I'm going to add this just right on top just to thicken them a little bit more. Give a little bit more volume. And we're here again. <laughs> Dude, my nose just gets so runny. Ugh, how annoying. I only want to add like a super light layer to the bottom lashes because my bottom lashes are really long. So if I overdo it, it just overpowers the eye and it drags the face, eyes. Just, it, it drags it down. Almost just like stamping it on. Okay, lo único que falta son las cejas and my lips. For brows, I haven't been doing anything too crazy with them. I stopped carving out the bottom like a couple months ago. So pretty much all I do now is add a pencil. Um, this one's a Sephora collection in soft charcoal. I like this one because it's not super dark, um, like a black color. So it's only going to create kind of like a shadow. And I kind of just line the bottom with it. Just like this. Very, very light handed. Hold it in the back. That way you have a lighter application. And I'm just going to fill the top a tiny bit. Almost like that. Like I'm telling you, I don't really do much to them anymore. I'm going to bring this out a little bit further. And to add a little bit more depth, I will use a brow pen. This one's from Milani. This is in the shade Espresso. And I will apply it and then take a spoolie just to make sure it doesn't leave any harsh lines. And I will do little hair strokes in the front as well. Just like that. Very soft. For these brows, I'm going to use Fluff Up Brow Wax by Benefit. I love this thing. So I really like the 24-hour one as well. However, this one is just a little bit more flexible. So let's say you need to move them around a little bit. You can do it. Um, but yeah. It doesn't feel like as hard. It has a different texture for sure. I really focus on the front of the brows because I want it to look kind of like feathery. A little messy. Now, let's finish this up with a lip combo. I already know what I'm going to do. Actually, I lied. I found this one in my set of lip liners, and I kind of want to try this one out. This is Nude Truffle by NYX. The bottom is so much easier than the top. You literally just... Yesterday, I did number 74 by Sephora Collection. 
but I'm kind of in between MAC Lip Mix and Mito Nude or this one. Let's add Sephora collection first. My battery died midway, so hopefully this blends out. Okay, I'm not going to add another color because I think this combo is just perfect. These are a little dry, so make sure your lips are nice and hydrated beforehand because if not, girl, your lips are going to be crusty at the end of the day. To top it off, I use the, um, the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. Why did I forget to breathe beforehand? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my hair and then I will be right back. I was about to go and it started bleeding again. I love it here. Just finished the hair. The little waves to the end. Um, but this is pretty much the makeup. Like, this has been my go-to glam lately. I love it. I love adding the brow liner in there just to give a little more something to it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!